Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is staying sane out there. I would like to give a shout out to my auntie Denise. She just got out of surgery yesterday, so this DIY is dedicated to you. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I got this pack of baseballs. They're plastic baseballs um, and they come in a pack of three. So I got a total of two packs for this um, candle. And what I'm doing is drilling a hole on each side of the baseball. And you can't really see it on the video, but there's already one hole on one side of the baseball. So I'm just drilling in that hole and then I'm going to the other side and um, drilling the other side. And I'm going in with my knife to make the hole bigger and uh, well, big enough for my doyle to fit in. And if you don't have a um, drill, you can use a knife. And by the way, I got my doyle from Walmart. I believe it was less than a dollar. It was literally like 50, 60 cents. And all I'm doing is twisting the knife around in a circular motion to um, create the circle. So now that I have all of my um, balls together, I'm going to use the doyle um, and I'm gonna start putting the, the balls on the doyle. And I'm gonna leave some gaps in between. And by the way, this doyle was 36 inches, but I ended up cutting it um, at 25 inches. So I got this tea, um, tea candle light at the Dollar Tree also, and it came in a pack of three. So I'm basically just uh, measuring it because I would like to sit my um, stick or my doyle inside of the teacup. So after I got the proper measurements and I got every um, ball where I want it to be, I'm just using my hot glue gun to make sure they stay in place. And now that I'm done, I'm gonna take it outside and spray paint it silver. And I'm gonna do my first coat um, of glitter. So I'm gonna start off by using my Mod Podge and I'm covering each ball. I'm doing this because you can clearly see the design of the baseball um, on the balls because they're baseballs. So since that was not the look I was going for, I'm going to cover it up. And by the way, you don't have to use Mod Pods for this. You can actually use just regular school glue. And now I'm gonna sprinkle my glitter and shit um, all over the balls. And when you're doing this, make sure that you're getting the glitter everywhere um, because I did this, I did it a couple times and I forgot that um, I missed a couple spots. So after I was done, I let it dry and then I added a second coat. I actually really enjoyed doing this project and I can promise you that this will not be the last time you see these balls. Now this time when I went around, I made sure I got um, 
the Mod Pod on the doyle in the middle. So each gap I put Mod Podge on. I didn't do it on the first round because I didn't want um, it to be too thick in the gaps. And I also um, went ahead and put the second coat of glitter on and um, I didn't show me putting um, another layer of Mod Podge on there, um, but I did go ahead and after this dried, I added another coat of Mod Podge just to seal the glitter so you won't have glitter falling everywhere. And I got this from, oh lord, I don't even know what it's called, a candle plate? <laughs> I'm gonna call it a candle plate. I got it from the Dollar Tree and um, I just cut a um, piece of a plate, a paper plate, and I glued it in the middle. I also took the um, candle holder outside and I sprayed it silver. And that is some embellishment that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna wrap that around uh, to give it some type of bling. Not that it needs anymore. <laughs> And now I'm adding hot glue. I am going around the candle holder and I don't know if you can see, but I actually put um, hot glue on the bottom of the candle holder so the doyle can stick in there and dry. And I'm also going around with uh, my hot glue gun to seal the outside of the candle holder to the bottom of the ball. And make sure you're adding E6000 to properly secure the candle. And now I'm putting um, glue on my candle holder. And remember I put glue inside the candle holder so it can stick to the doyle. And lastly, I'm adding my candle plate and boom, we're done. And remember to use E6000. There are reasons why I don't use E6000 in my video sometimes. And sometimes it's because I feel like I'm gonna end up changing the top of something or changing a specific part. But when you're creating these projects, please use E6000. If you don't, it will fall apart because um, hot glue is amazing and all, but it's not permanent. I had so much fun creating this candle. It is so beautiful. It was so inexpensive. I believe I only spent around $7 uh, on this candle. And I also ended up creating the candle next to it, the smaller one. Um, and I use I just did the same thing the only thing I did was spray the baseball silver and I added the bling wrap on the uh, parts the baseball parts that showed so I just went along uh, the baseball lines with the bling wrap that's all I did but I hope you all enjoyed this video I appreciate you watching Please uh, go and check out some of my other videos. Uh, I'll leave them in the link below. And thank you for watching. Have a great one.